Hey, what's up everybody? So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I fixed my uh, micro SD. Actually, what is it? Yeah, the SD card slot not working. Um, basically, I'm going to show you guys if I plug it in, it's going to recognize it now. And I'm going to show you why it recognizes it and how I fixed it. And then we will go and uh, reinstall everything. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to insert my micro SD card with a micro SD adapter. And when I do that, it should recognize it. As you can see, it recognizes it here. It says there's a problem with this drive because this is uh, some retro Pi thing. But that doesn't matter. That's not like it does, it's not going to help us in this situation. So basically, what we're going to want to do is I'm going to take it back out. And um, most of the the times that this won't be working is usually a driver issue. Sometimes it might be like a faulty SD card reader on your computer, but most of the time it's a driver issue. So I don't know where I had it over here. I believe it was memory and technology devices. So this is the card reader thing I installed right here. Realtek PCI card reader. This was not on here at all before or this. So what I'm going to do is just delete this or uninstall device. Now that whole section memory is gone. As you can see, that was the only thing that was listed there. Uh, before I get started, I want to say this is my computer right here. So this is only a fix for my specific computer. I mean, this laptop. So it's HPV NV times 360 convertible 15 CN blah, 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 blah. So that's the one in question. I got uh, Windows 10, all that fun stuff. So we went and deleted that. And um, now, if I plug in my SD card again, I'm pretty sure it should not recognize it because we just uninstalled that. So if I open up this PC, as you can see, it doesn't show up. So I'm going to unplug it. And now it's a very simple fix. All you do is go to support.hp.com. And um, actually, I'll take you the step back. So when you go to this website, this is how it will be. We're going to click on laptop. And if you don't know your serial number, which I don't, I don't want to look for it. So I just go to L let HP detect your product. Click that. Uh, okay. So as you can see, that's exactly the laptop that, you, that I showed you guys here. Um, as you can see there, there's the same thing except the ending here. Um, so that's the laptop that we're going to click right there. Now it says two simple steps to show what drivers are available for your product. So we're going to put Windows 10. That's what I have. Um, if you don't know what Windows version you have, it gives you two options here. You can, I guess, look here at that version, 1904. So I'm assuming it's going to be this one. Another way to check the Windows version, you can click Start Menu, type in W-I-N-V-E-R, and it'll tell you right there what kind of Windows version you're running. So mine was 1904, this is 1903, so I'm going to click there. And it says HP is compiling your results. Okay, now we're going to go to All Drivers. Now what I want to install is hmm i can't remember where i went here i think it might be driver storage yeah real tech card uh real tech card reader driver so this is what i want um let me just look at date wise so this is the latest version i believe so we're going to click that download sure so this will download. It's already downloaded. It's not huge, two megabytes. Uh, so we're going to click install now, which actually saves us a lot of time. And as you can see, it's the Realtek hard driver. All that stuff. We're going to click next. We're going to click I accept the terms. Click that. And now it says that it's completed. Now, I'm not sure if I have to restart the computer for the, the changes to take effect, but let's see. We're going to go back up here first and see if it shows up here. Uh, 
maybe I have to refresh it just a second. So we're gonna go to device manager. Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. I believe I might have to restart, but let's see. Uh, just for it to show up in the list, I don't know if it's gonna recognize it. Let me see right now. Okay, so it's not um, it's not recognizing it right now. I'm pretty sure I have to restart. So let me pause this. I'm going to restart, and we'll get back to this video. All right, so I've restarted the computer. I've went um, in Start Menu and typed in Device Manager, which brought this up. And now, as you can see, Memory Technology Device disappears again with that Realtek PCIe card reader. So now, if I plug in my SD card, it should recognize it. So as you can see, it recognizes the card. It's telling me I need to format it because of this. Uh, that that message was nothing. This is because I'm doing some like retro Pi stuff on the Raspberry Pi. So this the boot thing. It has to be formatted a certain way and all that stuff. But um, yeah, as you can see, it recognizes it there now. Um, if I go to what? Tu, 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 this PC. So you can see it right there. So if you have this HP NV uh, laptop like I do and you're having a problem with it not recognizing the SD card driver, make sure that you go into here and check if you have this memory technology devices and this installed. If you don't have it installed, you're going to have to go back to the support.hp website and get the driver from there like I showed you in the beginning of the video. And that should fix the issue for you. Now, if you have this installed and your SD card drive doesn't work, uh, doesn't work, then it might be something like a faulty SD drive. I'm hoping that's not the case, but yeah, hope it helps you guys out. Let me know what you think, if it works for you, uh, and subscribe for more videos like this. All right, peace.